All right, welcome back, Night Nation. Apologize for the quality of this video, but it's a video I wanted to get out really quickly. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about this new product. It's a slow cure polyaspartic. We call it our super coat. And we call it our super coat because it's non-yellowing. It can be used outside. It can be used in direct sunlight. So for your Carrera marbles, your white countertops, um, those kind of things, this product is exactly what you're after. It will never yellow. It's super hard. It's more impact resistant than epoxy. It's more durable than epoxy. It can be used outdoor for an outdoor application. I just poured this piece right here to play with it a little bit just to mess with the colors. It's very much like epoxy. So if you're coming from the epoxy world and you're trying this coating for the very first time, there's gonna be some things that feel very similar and there's some specific differences that you wanna notice. So I've got a TCP Global um, mixing cup here. It's a one-to-one -one ratio with this uh, polyaspartic super coat so i'm just gonna mix up some uh, if you've been playing with epoxy you've been taught that three ounces per square foot is the coverage that it takes with the super coat it's an ounce and a half to, uh, per square foot for coverage so it actually takes half as much um, material as epoxy took to cover the same amount of board so it'll actually help you stretch your dollar a, a lot longer and you don't have to stay up at night wondering if those countertops are going to yellow so it's a one-to-one -one ratio, and I'm just gonna mix it up here. Uh, one of the things I do notice, it's, it's a lot thinner. Um, when I very first tried it for the first time, um, I was worried that it wasn't gonna be thick enough because I was used to a real thick um, gooey epoxy, and this stuff's really, really thin. Not overly thin, there's still some uh, thickness to it, but just thinner than I uh, was used to using. Now, it's also gonna lay down thinner, but it has a more durable uh, coat. This particular epoxy, were the first ones to bring it to the market for countertops, and it was designed specifically to be slow. So you'll not want to keep this in the pot longer than 10 minutes, and so you don't want to put uh, so much in that you can't get it out of your pot and onto your surface in under 10 minutes. It has a nice long working time, it's about 45 minutes. Um, once you have it on, it doesn't take that much uh, longer. Like I said, it's nice and thin, so the bubbles aren't becoming encapsulated in it. If you do use a drill and you're doing it on a larger uh, bucket of this material, um, put it on low speed, it's not gonna take a ton. So that's one of the differences I noticed right away is that it, it, it just doesn't hold a lot of bubbles in. So I'm not having to constantly torch my piece. As a matter of fact, I never torch it. If I do, it'll just be once real quick right at the end to uh, get all the micro bubbles out, those kind of things. So what I'm gonna do here, I've just got three colors. Uh, I'm gonna do a white, because white's the, the problem child that everyone stays up at night um, wondering if their countertops are gonna yellow. I know I did as a contractor. Um, we, and whites are so popular right now, particularly whites and grays, whites and blacks. So we're going to mix up a couple colors here. I've got way more than necessary. I'll stick this to the side. Um, first off, I've got our bright white metallic. I'm going to use a lot of this. I'm going to do double duty on this. I've got a client who wants a, a sample board with a shimmery white in it. So I'm going to stick this in there. I'm going to be um, extra, extra heavy on it. You can see. Um, I didn't didn't skimp on that. This is just regular mica powders, just like you'd use an epoxy. Um, you use regular mica powders. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a little pearl into it as well, so we have a little accent color. Once again, it's just a mica. And then I'm going to grab, let me see, just a Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. It takes so little to pigment this stuff. This is just a dab. In here to give us our our other accent of white and I'm gonna mix it up you'll notice that um, it blends just like you're used to nothing different about it um, it feels like like you're mixing with epoxy and so one of the biggest things that uh, I, I did notice is that um, this is not epoxy you've got to learn a new system and understand what it means it does react a little bit different epoxy uh, dries with relative humidity and heat this stuff draws mostly off of humidity so the next day if you come back and it's still a little tacky in the morning like you'll find sometimes rather than um, crank the heat like you do with epoxy all we do is give it a light misting um, with a, a spray bottle or take a damp cloth and just simply rub it across the top and the will cause a uh, super coat to cure quicker seven day cure time on this thing uh, you can be putting it in your client's house confidently uh, with as little as three days and I have to worry about it and I'm gonna do this bright white 
and once again, these are micas. So same ratios. Um, I don't want to exceed more than 10% uh, in my uh, material here. And then it takes micas, it takes base pigments. Everything you've been doing before will color exactly the same. And the effects are very similar as well. So I've got this mixed up. I'm going to lay this out and then I'm going to get just a titch of black over here for my accent color. Just like that. So I got nice and black. So I'm going to lay it down just like we would a marble effect. I'm just going to spread it out. And nice zigzag patterns. I'm going to alternate the uh, colors of white I've got here. That's my bright white. Here's my pearl. This one is white metallic, I believe. So I used a white base tint, a pearl, and a white metallic uh, mica, just to mix it up on there and give a little bit of flavor. Go back and forth, just like that. And I put just a little black in, just for fun. Funsies. Just like that. And then just like you would with epoxy, I'm gonna blend it. I'm going to make sure my board, now this is just an old sample board that one of my students had left around. I have a thousand of these, so I'll just coat them randomly as they come up. And I'm just moving this around. One of the things I noticed about um, the super coat and the polyspartic is it will actually move and sell on its own. See how it almost looks like a creature as it comes off here? And look at that, it's beautiful. I'm really liking this. And then just like normal, if you wanted to move that a little bit, you just pick it up. See how it flows just a little bit easier. Um, and there's no need to torch the heck out of your piece either because it is thin enough that it's not encapsulating all that air and it's escaping um, just through its, through its own viscosity of the material. So I'm gonna get my edges just like we normally do so we have a nice flow over. And just like that. It's that simple to use polyaspartic. This is a great application. Um, pound for pound oranges you know to oranges it's about the same price as epoxy maybe a little bit less um, it costs a couple bucks more per gallon uh, price but it uses less material to cover um, your stuff you get twice as much mileage out of it and this you like i said it's non-yellowing it can be used outside it can be used in direct sunlight as well i hope you like this i'm gonna drop a link on where you can buy this polyspartic as well and the colors that we use in this video if you have any questions drop them in the comments below i know this is a new product a lot of people have a lot to say about it and they've been asking me. Um, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, could I pour epoxy and then put the polyaspartic over the top and keep the epoxy from yellowing? The short answer is no. Um, the UV rays are still gonna hit the epoxy and all epoxy will amber. That's why this product is so cool and so neat. You don't, this is in, in this replaces the need for epoxy and you go um, just use a polyaspartic. At this point, all I would do is simply put a clear coat of the polyaspartic and call it, uh, call it quits. Uh, I love the effect. I got some nice deep looking uh, veins here. You can see how it uh, really changed around. You can spray out micas on it in alcohols, all kinds of things. It's not a whole lot of changes, a whole lot of extra benefits though. So if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and I hope to see you again. Talk to you later.